Hey guys, my name is Walter. I'm with Centoro Digital Marketing, and uh, today we're going to talk about local SEO strategies, what it is, all kinds of stuff. So, what is local SEO? Let's get into that first. Local SEO basically is uh, the art form of ranking your website for keywords within a specific city, uh, a specific zip code, or uh, basically really anywhere that carries a location. So, like a state, a country. You know, those sorts of things. Um, so local SEO primarily focuses on local ranking factors. So like your um, search address, so where you are particularly, um, your geographical location coordinates, things along those lines. And local SEO in particular is all about um, how to rank for those sorts of things. So for example, if you're a business in Orlando, Florida, and you're trying to rank for Orlando based keywords, things along those lines, then in your content, you need to include Orlando based keywords, whatever the case may be. So, um, let me give a couple of examples on what local SEO actually looks like using Orlando as a a placeholder for other locations. So let's take, for example, like we said, you are an Orlando based business and you want to rank for Orlando based keywords. Now let's go more specific, right? You are an Orlando based roofing company and you want to rank for roofing services in Orlando. Well, to put this in a simple way, one of the things that you're going to want to do is basically have Orlando based keywords within your uh, content and your copy of your website. So for instance, think things such as roofer in Orlando, Florida near me or other things like commercial roofer in Orlando. Um, you know, those sorts of variations will help you build up the local SEO aspect of stuff because you're mentioning um, Orlando within your keywords, which is a signal to the search engine uh, based upon, you know, where you are, you know, et cetera, et cetera, things, things along those lines. When you're looking at doing uh, local SEO, another really big important factor is uh, looking at like the Google My Business. Google My Business for SEO, huge. It's really, really big. And the reason being is because it's Google's attempt for local search engine results kind of outside of their, you know, usual search engine uh, page. When you look up a business, you look up something, you get this little thing that pops up on the side of your screen where you'll see all the information about the business, um, ways to contact them, et cetera, et cetera. That's a Google business profile. We can cover that in a separate video, ways to, ways to optimize it, ways to do stuff with it, but you know, we'll, we'll get to that later. So that Google business profile is very, very useful for your SEO. So as a good rule of thumb, what you're going to want to do with it is, you know, you're going to want to fill it out. You're going to want to have some photos on there and you're going to want to update it occasionally, whatever the case may be. That's kind of bare minimum stuff without going into the contents of, uh, you know, the next video, you know, when you do that, you're basically helping the search engine understand that you're a local business. You're in the city of Orlando, Florida. Uh, you offer roofing services and you know, you're open from, you know, nine to five, uh, Monday through Friday. Right. And you can be reached by contacting whatever the phone number is, um, of that local business. So, that aspect of stuff will really, really help you out a lot. You know, there's other things in local SEO, perhaps like getting in touch with like local bloggers or like, you know, you get some local backlinks, um, such as like chambers of commerce links or things along those lines. Um, you know, those sorts of backlinks will help kind of, uh, solidify you within the realm of, uh, like the local world. Um, of the city of Florida, of Orlando, Florida, particularly, um, you know, those sorts of backlinks are very, very important. Long story short, local SEO, you know, uh, looking at basically including keywords within your uh, website copy. Those keywords have to have location modifiers to them. So in our case, again, 
Orlando as our modifier. And then looking at, you know, filling out your Google My Business profile and making sure that all of that is all squared away. And then finally, you know, working to gain backlinks from like local chambers of commerce places or other other sorts of local venues and local areas. That will all help your local SEO, which will help you improve your uh, customers over time. You'll gain more business. Uh, you'll be a lot happier with the leads that you're generating. If you need any help with this sort of stuff, our team can help you out. 407-923-0109 is the best way to get in touch with us. Or you can go visit our website at centoro.com, C-I-N-D-T-O-R-O.com. There you go. Send us an email too if you wish to do that. Info at centoro.com. That's it. Thanks. See you in the next video.